number three. Where do you go, Karch? I think you go back to Plummer. Or Jenna Gray has gotten a few down. Ebony Wanabu was warning her team about this shot on two. Got to serve in, got to serve tough. Little confusion there in the backcourt. Plummer off the edge and Stanford wins it. Stanford ties the Penn State Nittany Lions with their seventh title and the fifth for John Dunning, joining some very rarefied air. A pretty inauspicious championship point. It looked like Stanford was in trouble, but Catherine Plummer, the National Freshman of the Year, took a rip from about 14 feet off the net. It's been 12 long years long, for Stanford. Long. They had some great teams, but ran into an absolute machine in Penn State, winning four in a row in 2007 to 2010. Well, Inky, you had an injury that kept you on this team another year. What does it mean to you to be the leader out here, to lead this young squad to a national championship? I mean, this is an incredible group of people on the court and off the court. We grew so much this year. I grew. They taught me so much. And just to be able to get this win, I knew we could do it from the beginning of the season. And now that everyone finally believes it in themselves, it's something remarkable. Tonight was hard. snapping high. Um, I know the, the straight down kills aren't as satisfying. I'm more satisfying, but I had to keep snapping the corners. And um, just keeping that mindset to play smart volleyball instead of just brew volleyball. Um, we all play that way, and it's, and it's incredible. The last Stanford National Championship in volleyball was 2004. Most of your teammates were six years old. What does it mean to bring this home to the Cardinal family? Uh, we are just so happy. Stanford's such a great program. And we have so many great people come through the program, and they didn't have this moment. And for us to have that moment, it's so, it's so humbling. Thank you. Take a look back at NCAA championship point. And Stanford was in some trouble. Look at this swing. Off the edge of the block, Catherine Plummer finished with 18 kills, Ajanaku 16. And it was their block and defense holding the juggernaut of the Texas offense that had been hitting at 356. There it is to only 217. And congratulations to the Stanford Cardinal and John Dunning. Let's go back over to Holly. Well, Morgan Hans, you kept digging up ball after ball after ball. What was it like in that back row against this very heavy hitters of Texas? Texas is a great team, and their hitters put a lot of power on the ball, and they know how to place it extremely well. I think our block did a really great job of setting up on them, so our defense was able to read around it, which makes it a lot easier for us. So thanks to the block. You're the youngest team in history to win the national championship. Four freshman starters. Why did you believe that you could do it this year? Honestly, we love each other so much that we believed in each other. It wasn't that necessarily I believed in myself, but I believed in every single one of my teammates. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Holly. Well, it was a hard one to pick, and the match played out sort of the same way. It was a match of runs, but Stanford just had one more big run in them than did the Texas Longhorns, who had another valiant season, and they will be back once again.
Back with Karch Kiraya, Paul Sunderland. Your, your thoughts on this championship match? Well, I'm so impressed with Texas's fight yeah. and their ability to make changes and get back into this match, give themselves a chance. But ultimately, Inky and the Inkettes and the powerful block of Stanford just wore team after team down in the regular season and then in the postseason. And it was too much leading to their seventh title, tying Penn State as the all-time winners. Stanford made a huge change at midseason, a gutsy move by a Hall of Fame head coach, and it has proved to earn them a championship. Once again, our final score. Stanford with their seventh NCAA title all time, three sets to one over the Texas Longhorns. Coming up next is college basketball, UNLV and Oregon for more from the trophy presentation and that ceremony. Tune in to ESPN3. Okay, there's a one drink.